Good morning, everyone. My name is Sean Price, and I'm from the Revival Time Assembly, a member church of the Pentecostal Assembly of the West Indies. This is the last day of my sharing on the topic, we need each other. Why do we need each other, you may ask? The answer is because it is God's will that we dwell together in unity. Psalm 133 verse 1 says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines unity as oneness. So when God speaks to us about unity, all members being part of one body in Christ, His purpose for us is that we be in harmony, in agreement, in one accord with each other. You would recall that on Monday, I shared that we are all members of one body in Christ. We are told in Romans chapter 12 verse 10 that as members of one body, we are to be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love in honoring preferring one another. Further, verse 9 tells us that love is to be without dissimulation, that is, without pretense or hypocrisy. In other words, we are to love each member of the body genuinely. As members of one body, we are all part of God's kingdom, and if we do not dwell together in unity, then we will be defeated by the enemy. As I shared yesterday, we need each other. We need to be united in order that we will be effective against the works of the enemy. It is God's will that we dwell together in unity. We are told in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16 and 19, These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, Paul pleaded with the Corinthian church, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one body in what you say and that there is no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 25b, Jesus himself said, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city of house divided against itself shall not stand. So, as believers, we need to be united. We need to work together in unity, or else we would be destroyed. The enemy of our souls is always waiting to steal, to kill, and to destroy us. He is the author of confusion, and his goal is always to divide and conquer us, because he knows that a house divided shall not stand. My brothers and sisters, we need each other. We need to be united in one accord so that we will be able to stand. Our job is to continue sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ until he returns. Let us not get distracted by divisions among ourselves, but have the singular focus of winning others for Christ. If the world sees us as divided, we will not be able to win them for God's kingdom and so we will not be fulfilling our great commission. In closing, I want to quote from this song that I am sure you may know by Ross Taff entitled, We Will Stand. Sometimes it's hard for me to understand why we pull away from each other so easily. Even though we are all walk the same road, yet we build dividing walls between our brothers and ourselves. But I don't care what label you may wear, if you believe in Jesus, you belong with me. The bond we share is all I care to see, and we will change the world forever. If you will join with me, join and sing. Oh, you're my brother, you're my sister, so take me by the hand. Together we will work. Until he comes There's no foe that can defeat us 
We're walking side by side As long as there is love We will stand The day will come when we will be as one And with a mighty voice together We will proclaim that Jesus is King And it will echo through the earth It will shake the nations And the world will see See that you're my brother you're my sister so take me by the hand together we will work until he comes there's no foe that can defeat us when we're walking side by side as long as there is love we will stand. I pray that this would minister to your hearts. May God bless you all.